Leah Tortilla presents. Hey guys, it's me, Leah Tortilla, and welcome back for another tasty treat. By the time that you guys get to watch this, England will unfortunately be in lockdown number two. But don't you worry your pretty little faces because Leah Tortilla is here to save the day. And thinking about it, now you guys in England are on lockdown and you have no excuse. You can actually try cooking these recipes at home. So today I'll be showing you how to make lemon meringue pies. And as always, the list of ingredients are listed in the description below. So put them on your shopping list next time that you go to get your essentials. And to start our delicious treats, we're going to need to make some pastry. So for the pastry, you're going to need a medium egg, 260 grams of plain flour and a pinch of salt, already in this bowl, 120 grams of icing sugar and 120 grams of cold cubed unsalted butter straight from the fridge. So for this pastry recipe, they advise that you do it on a cold, clean work surface, but I'm going to do it in a bowl because I don't want to clean up the mess. <laughs> so in this bowl, I've got my flour, my sugar, my salt, my flour, my sugar and my salt. Yeah, that's all I've got in here. And to this dry mix, I'm going to add my cubed butter. I try and avoid making a mess. I still make a mess. And then we're going to rub the butter in to the flour, sugar and salt mixture. And we're going to work it so that eventually it forms fine breadcrumbs. It takes a while, so I'm just gonna speed this process up for you. As you can see, I decided to say stuff it and do it the way the recipe wanted and I made a mess. I have to say the process of making this pastry is a lot easier if you have a mixer. Unfortunately, my kitchen isn't big enough to be able to have such a luxury. So I do have to make a mess, but if you are lucky enough to have a mixer, then do it in a mixer, save yourself at least 15 minutes of rubbing the butter into the pastry, into into the flour, we are making pastry. <sighs> anyway, enough rambling, but once you have successfully rubbed in the butter to your sugar, salt and flour, and it is resembling this bread, cr bread crummy texture, I want you to gather all of your dry ingredients that are now mixed together into the middle of your surface, and we're going to make a well just like that, in the middle. And into the middle of that well, we're going to crack an egg. This is the part where it gets really messy. We're going to dip our hand right into the middle of that egg. And we're going to mix all of this together until it forms the right consistency. I promise you, after ages of trying and making lots of mess, the mixture will come together eventually. There you go, I told you eventually, hard work pays off. There's my pastry. So once your pastry has come together and it's an even consistency. We're just going to pat it down into like a little three centimeter thick rectangle shape because this makes it easier to roll out. Also, don't overwork your pastry. When it has combined and it's like this, it's done. So yeah, like I said, three centimeter thick rectangular shape. Just flatten it down nicely more of a square than it is a rectangle but hey ho and then 
we are going to wrap it with cling film. Get it off my surface. So we're going to wrap it in cling film. Place it back in my little container. And then we're going to stick it in the fridge to let it rest for at least an hour. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this mess. And then after that, I'll show you how to make the lemon curd filling for our lemon meringue pies. Okay, so for our lemon curd filling, we need 150 millilitres of fresh lemon juice. That's going to go in our saucepan over here. We need four egg yolks, cracked one. We need two whole eggs. And 105 grams of caster sugar. We stir that, incorporate it all together. And then slowly, we're going to bring it up to the boil. Make sure while you're bringing it to the boil, you continuously stir it with a whisk. And once your egg, lemon and sugar mixture has started to boil, take it off the heat and we're going to pass it through a fine sieve. And once you've finished passing your mixture through a sieve, we're going to let this cool down to about 30 degrees, which is also about room temperature. And then we'll incorporate the butter. So once your mixture is cooled down, we're going to incorporate 105 grams of soft unsalted butter. Okay, I will admit, maybe this is a little bit too soft with a hand mixer, blender, thing. Just pour it in slowly, bit by bit, and incorporate. All right, there we have our lemon cream, lemon curd, ready to set in the fridge until we need it. Okay, so our pastry is resting in the fridge and our lemon cream is also cooling down and waiting in the fridge ready for our tarts to be made. So it's still not been an hour yet, so I'm just going to um, prepare my mini pastry tins I've got here with the loose bottom. So to prepare these, you just rub them with some unsalted butter. You know, grease them up nicely, nice and greasy, all of them. And then once you've greased up your little tins, your cases, whatever you want to call them, I'm just going to put some plain flour in there and cover all of the places where you've just put butter, basically. There we go. Oh, yeah, making more mess. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, and then you get rid of the extra, so I can use that to do my other ones. But then obviously, once you get down to your last tin, you um, just tap whatever extra flour you have out into the bin. Or onto your surface for when we roll out our pastry. That would be a much more clever idea. You know, less wastage less wastage okay. okay so it's been an hour i've got my pastry out the fridge and it's time to roll it and line our tart tins if you've watched my apple pie video then you probably already know how to do this so you don't really have to watch you can just skip ahead Do 
be very, very delicate because this pastry is extremely soft. I'm just gonna push down. And any extra pastry you have, you can roll up and rest again and make into more tarts. But there you go, that's my first one. Though I do have to remind you, even though I am a chef, chefs still read recipes and baking still really isn't my thing. So I may seem overly keen and overly happy about this. That's just because I'm very proud of myself. You know what? There's nothing wrong with being proud of yourself. When you give it a go at something that you're not necessarily very good at. And you know what? Practice makes perfect. Okay, so now we've lined our little tart cases. We're going to gently prick the bottom of them with a fork. And then we're going to stick them in the freezer for 15 minutes. So once your tarts have been in the freezer for 15 minutes, we're going to pop them straight in the oven at 160 degrees for eight minutes. And after eight minutes has been, we're going to take our tray from this and turn it to this. So that way they bake evenly. Right, eight minutes. Fingers crossed. So this is me turning the tray. Four minutes later, and our tartlets are done. Okay, so once you've taken your tarts out of the oven, you can see here, they've gone nice and golden. We're gonna take them off of the baking tray and let them cool down completely before we start filling them. I've removed the tarts from their cases and I've placed them on a cooling rack and now I'm leaving them there to cool down even further. While they're doing that, I'm going to tell you how to make the meringue. So in a bowl, it doesn't have to be a clear bowl, any largest sort of bowl, we need three egg whites. And then with a whisk, we're going to whisk up those egg whites until they start to rise. Here, you can see they've started to rise. So slowly, bit by bit, we're going to add 120 grams of parsley sugar and keep whisking until it forms this piece. And when your meringue is done, it will be stiff peaks. And by stiff peaks, I mean you can hold the meringue over your head without it moving. No meringue on the head. And so now with our meringue done, I'm going to spoon it into a disposable piping bag. And I have to apologize. Um, when I was saying my uh, proportions, like how many grams of everything we needed to make meringues, I got it wrong. You actually need 200 grams of caster sugar and three egg whites. Not whatever I said before. So that now is our meringue ready to pipe. So our meringue is made and our tarts are cool. So we're going to spoon our lemon curd mixture, uh oh, I've <laughs> dropped the spoon on the top, into our tart cases. You know, you can be as generous or as stingy as you like with these. It's completely up to you. And once your tart cases are filled, we're going to decorate them by piping on our meringue. Now, if I did have a fancy piping nozzle set, I would have put one in here, but unfortunately, that's something else that I probably need to ask for for Christmas. Um, 
basically the nozzles just make the meringue a little bit fancier by giving them more body and shape. But yeah, unfortunately I don't have one, so we're just gonna have to stick with a plain little nozzle. Now this is the part I'm really not that great at, decorating. Just pipe, little blobs, meringue all around our top. Yeah, the nozzle would have made this look a lot better. So now I've naffly piped the meringue mixture onto my tarts, you can do one of two things. One, you can grab a blowtorch and blowtorch the meringue, or number two, you can refrigerate them, and after they've been refrigerated, you can stick them in the oven at 240 degrees for two minutes. It's up to you. I'm gonna do both. Blow torch ready. I'm gonna attempt to blow torch three of these. So I'm gonna place these in the fridge and then we're gonna try the oven with the other ones. I have to say, I'm really excited to see what these look like coming out the oven. Oh my goodness. Not so naff after all. They're the ones out of the oven. They look lovely. Well, as lovely as I could get them. <laughs> I have to say, I definitely think I prefer the blowtorch ones to the ones from the oven. And that's funny because I was really worried about using a blowtorch to begin with. And everyone was like, oh, don't burn the house down. Well, I didn't. And they look lovely. So, lemon meringue pie anybody? So there you have it. Once again, Leah Tortilla has outdone herself, baking something that she thought she wouldn't be able to bake. And there you go, lemon meringue pie. It's super simple, so um, try it at home, guys. And once again, you have been watching Leah Tortilla. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week for another tasty treat. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching Leah Tortilla. Don't forget to share this video, give this video a like, leave me a comment, and if you really like what I do, then subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll see you next week.